for Krama Media's Policy, I'm Sane Lamini. Researcher and analyst Professor Raymond Sadna joins me for Sadna's View, a weekly commentary on South Africa's political scene. Welcome, Professor. Thank you. From the news we are getting mm, regarding the Zimbabwe election, we're getting a sense that the elections went well, were like free and fair. What is your comment on that? I don't know. Um, I think that where, how free and fair it, will, it was will depend on how close the two parties are as the uh, counting sorry can I, as the counting continues mm. because uh, it's at the point when it becomes very close that it may be that some intervention will be made that renders it unfair so I can't tell it doesn't seem that there's been violence but again it may be if there's a runoff for the presidency that there will be uh, f uh, could be violence, security forces could involve, mm. be involved. But so far, I think it's very important for N N N Agua as well as for Chamisa to actually ensure that people uh, have a sense of tranquility and peace so that they get investment. Mm. What do you take from the fact that uh, the ZEC, the body that is uh, Looking at the election, they, they are worried that both uh, leaders, Mnangakwa as well as Chamisa, from time to time they are talking as if they know the results, they, they are victorious, especially Chamisa. I don't know. I, you know, I don't, don't make anything of it. I just think it's, um, he's trying to talk up uh, his people mm. and in, when he was doing it before the voting, to have people think that if you back mm. him, you're backing a winning uh, person. Mm. Equally, if you um, are, uh, if you want to claim that the election is a fraud, you also have to build up a momentum that you're going to win. So that if you don't win, mm. people see it as a fraud. Mm. Let's look at the leaders now. If it happens that Emerson Nangakwa win the election, do you think that is capable of bringing change that uh, a lot of people in Zimbabwe are so longing for? I think that any person who becomes leader of Zimbabwe faces a massive debt, mm. lack of investment, uh, collapse of industries, collapse of agriculture, huge unemployment, huge homelessness, uh, collapse of health services, uh, very serious weakening of what was once a very good educational system. Mm. So that whoever comes in, I think the UK and some other countries are quite anxious to see Zimbabwe return to stability. Mm. But the problem with investment is that foreign investment is they're not keen to invest uh, in state projects that provide social services for the poor. Mm. They really w invest in things that are going to give profits like mining mm. and things like that uh, if, or, or, or sections of uh, manufacture which is get which which by investing in it uh, with low wages and things like this they will get profits so the social problems that any new person faces will not necessarily be remedied even if there is a flood of investment because investment is tends to be hot money it's not doesn't tend to be long-term developmental investment so that I don't know that Mnangagwa or Chamisa will be able to, in it, to turn this around. Mm. But I'm not saying that things are not better. I think things are better mm. and there's a probability, they know that they will not get investment if there is the violence and illegality of the Mugabe period. Mm. If we look at what Mugabe said over the weekend during that presser, what do you make of his statement that he, he went public, that he will not support uh, his oppressors, but instead he, he supported Chamisa? I don't place any weight on it. Doesn't, it doesn't affect 
with me. I would not like to comment. Mm. And then let's look at what happened after Mugabe, Mugabe's statement, because we know that there were reports that security aid was recalled uh, after he addressed the media. Can do you think we can expect more of vengeance from maybe who, uh, from Nangakwa, especially if he wins the elections towards Mugabe? Yes. Well, I don't know, but I mean the thing is, Mugabe is no longer a big factor. It seems he's ninety-four or ninety-three. So I would not like to focus extensively on Mugabe because Mugabe is a man of the past and he's bitter, understandably, and Mnangagwa didn't want this happening on the night before the elections. So he's acted. Whether he'll do more, I don't know. I think, I'm sure Mugabe's got enough money to hide his own security. Thank you, Professor. That was Professor Raymond Sadna speaking to Krima Media's polity about Zimbabwe election.